Welcome back to Farm and Hammer, everyone. You might be able to see the trailer behind me. Yes, I've got a whole nother load of brand new bottle calves. There is six in the trailer, so I'll show you them here in a minute. But before I do so, you might be able to see this red box down here. And this is actually another heat wave. If you remember a couple videos back, I said I didn't think I'd purchase another heat wave just because I didn't honestly didn't think I'd be growing quick enough to need one. And it didn't really seem like financially it'd be worth it at the time. If I had a whole lot more calves, it would have been worth it. And since I've been getting so many calves so quick recently, um, I'd honestly been looking at purchasing another one and it just so happens. So Shearwell, the company that sells these heat waves, um, you can check out their website down below in the description. Um, but they sent me this completely for free just as a thank you, I guess, for showing more people about this product. So, so I am genuinely excited because I honestly thought I was going to be buying another one of these, but they sent this one completely for free. So as always, if you guys are interested in this product, you can check the link in the description below. That should take you to their US website and you should be able to order it from there. So with that being said, I'm gonna crack this thing open. I've already sort of done an unboxing video on the product. So if you're interested in what this actually comes with, um, you can check out that video. It's one of the first bottle calf videos I did this year. So, um, but I'm gonna open it up here real quick, get it set up and get it ready because I've actually got some calves that I need to put on it today. Nice and shiny, although my other one's still pretty new. It's already gotten pretty dirty, so this one's nice and shiny, looks good. Setting this up will be a whole lot quicker now that I've done it before and I know what I'm doing. One thing I have learned about this heat wave is you shouldn't set it on the box it comes with. It's got a folding lid and you will bend the lid. So I've got this one from my original heat wave and I kind of damaged the lid. It's not completely broken, but um, I did bend it inward a little bit. So I've just been using these white buckets. I do not have a short supply of these things. I've got a couple hundred laying around from the free pig food I got a couple years back. So I'm just using a couple six gallon buckets. It sets the heat wave pretty much at the perfect height for the hoses to come off and sit right in the barrel. So um, I like it. I also like to keep it on a pallet. When I clean it out every day, I do normally pump the cleaner out here. So all right, that's on there. So your end with the pump on it, the plastic end is the one that goes into the heat wave. So that's locked in. And then your end with the metal piece and the yellow guard on it, that'll be what drops into your milk tank, so. And then on this side, we've got our Y connections there. Just take the end with the plastic piece, plug it in, grab the other one and plug it in. Next, I've gotta add water to the heat wave so it can start heating up. Then I'm gonna bring one of the groups of calves into their new pin over here, and then hopefully, by the time they get adjusted to the new pen, the heat wave will have warmed up and I can start running milk to them and they can get used to it. They've already been fed this morning, so they shouldn't be hungry now. And that's when you wanna introduce this feeder to them. So this pen is all ready to go. You can see I've got milk in the heat wave here and it is connected to the nipples. And we've got the calf I picked up a couple weeks ago that's been by herself. Um, she came in here, so we're gonna see if she'll we're gonna see if she'll get started. See if she can figure it out. The milk is a little cold. I need to get fresh stuff run through. like she's got it figured out it's just gonna take some getting used to for her compared to a normal nipple but anyway while she is distracted we are going to come out here and pull the 
third oldest group out of their outdoor pen and bring them onto the heat wave and uh, see if we can get them started on it. Um, there's 13 out here, we're only gonna pull 10 and the other three are kind of special needs. So um, we'll leave them in here and I'll feed them twice daily on the bottle like I have been doing. So we're gonna take the 10 good ones and put them in the barn with that single heifer. He's on it and distracting. I'll get another one. So we've got nine of them in here. I originally said I was gonna put 10, uh, but I left a few back in the old pen just so I can keep a closer eye on them. Uh, they're not super sick, but they're just looking like they're about to be sick, so I left them. Um, you can see these are all started on the heat wave. He was the original one I started on there. The others, this one and that black one, they figured it out on their own. Um, she figured it out on her own. I showed this furry one here where it was. And then when these two are done, I'll show the rest, the other four, where it is. But so far, so good. I think they're getting it figured out. Now I just got to keep an eye on them and make sure ones like him don't get too full. And then I told you I picked up some new calves, so I thought I better show you them before it's dark. And uh, what we've got in here is four heifers and two bulls. Let's see if they'll let me in without them getting out. So we'll start back here. Uh, this is one of the young heifers. She's only three days old-ish. That one in the back is the other new one. I've got paint on their heads and a little bit on their tail, just so I can tell who's who. And I've got, and I got extra colostrum from the farmer for those two just in case. Um, then we've got this big girl. She's my favorite out of the group. She's really tall and she's got a couple white markings on her head. And she's more, of a, she's more of a brown color than a black. So anyway, she's my personal favorite. But uh, then moving on, we've got this other massive calf. This one is also a heifer and she probably weighs and she probably weighs 150 pounds. She is just absolutely giant. Super tall, obviously she's not super wide, but she is super, she is super, super tall. And uh, definitely not gonna be one I keep because she's gonna be a monster of a cow. And these calves are out of the herd that I've been getting those colorful sort of looking calves. The ones with white stars on their head, that kind of thing. Um, and they were just using a black beef bull. They weren't really exactly sure on the breed, but they assumed it was Angus. But I think there's something else going on here. I know someone last week commented that it could be a Simmental cross um, bull that they used. Because um, they said they used to get similar colored calves with using a Simmental. So anyway, but I did take a look at their cow herd while I was there today. And they have got some massive Holstein cows. Uh, this is going to be the last season they breed with uh, beef, so I won't be getting any more calves from them in the future uh, because they already have a Holstein bull breeding their group this this fall. So he's going to be the last calves I get from them. And uh, I'm going to cherish every one I can get because these are, these are nice looking calves. Anyway, I thought I'd better show you these new ones before it's dark out. Um, these are all from the same farm that I was talking about. So this little one's a bull. These two big ones are heifers. This one's a heifer. That one's a bull. And that one is a heifer. And this one here in the back, she's actually got some, uh, let's see if I can get her to lift her head up. She's got some salt and peppering on her neck there. So a little bit of extra color, but that doesn't hurt anything. As long as they're all healthy and they're gonna grow well, that's what I care about, so. And this massive thing, I don't know what we're gonna do with her. 
she's probably just gonna walk over all the fences I've got. But I've yet to figure out where I'm gonna put these guys. But I'm most likely gonna stick them back in the barn um, where the last group used to be. So um, got a little space there. And then when they're old enough, I'll kick them onto the heat wave with the ones I moved on today. And then here in a couple of days, this group that I got last week, um, once I can make sure that they're all doing well, then I'll kick them into the barn, get them on the heat wave as well. Um, but for now, we're gonna give them a couple days out here on the milk bar, make sure they're used to milk powder um, before we give them as much as they can want. All right, guys, so I hope you enjoyed this one. Thank you all for watching. If you have any questions or comments, please leave those down in the comment section below. And with that being said, I will see you guys next time.